this is no laughing matter. The sun is spewing complex streams of solar wind to our Earth and impact is uh, awaited with auroras October 28th and 29th, according to Space Weather. There's a smiley face on the sun today, formed by holes in the sun's atmosphere. The cheerful mane is spewing a complex stream of solar wind towards our Earth, and first contact with the auroras could be October 28th or 29th. And partial solar eclipse yesterday, October 25th, astronomers from Europe to India watched the moon take a bite out of the sun and more. The moon also swallowed a big prominence. This is what Thierry Legault, who photographed the eclipse from Paris, France, says. So uh, the moon took the uh, shot of big prominence. Zooming into Legault's photo reveals something interesting. The curving edge of the moon is not smooth. It's modulated by lunar mountains. Astronomers saw them from Italy and Spain as well. And elsewhere in France, Nicolas Le Faudeux did something that no ast astrophotographer has done before. He photographed Venus and uh, partially eclipsed sun at the same time, and the trick was scrapping uh, away some of the solar filter, allowing Venus to shine through. But what about this? Uh, mysterious solar storm to take out power lines. It could take out power lines, satellites, and the internet. The exact cause of these storms, dubbed Miyaki events is unclear, and despite new research, experts say it is impossible to predict when they will strike. Miyaki events. That's the first time I've heard of that. A mysterious rare form of solar storm has a potential to take out power lines, satellites, and the internet, and we have no way of predicting when they could strike. It's the disconcerting warning of a study by researchers at University of Queensland who analyzed natural records of these storms preserved in millennia-old tree rings. Such storms were first detected in the tree ring isotope recorded back in 2012 by the physicist Fisa Miyaki of Nagoya University. He detected a sudden increase in radiocarbon coming from a surge of solar radiation in the tree ring corresponding to a year 774 AD. Since then, similar spikes have been identified as having occurred in the years 7,176 BC, 5,410 BC, 5,259 BC, 660 BC, and 993 AD. Lead author, astrophysicist Dr. Benjamin Pope said, these huge bursts of cosmic radiation known as Miyake events have occurred approximately once every thousand years, but what causes these events is not clear. The leading theory had been that they are huge solar flares, so we need to know more because of one of these, if these happen today, it would destroy technology, including satellites, internet cables, long distance power lines, and transformers. The effect on global infrastructure would be unimaginable. Part of this the team's study, undergraduate mathematician student Wing Gin Wan Zhang developed specialist software to analyze existing data on historical atmospheric isotope ratios and by extension solar radiation as preserved in trunks of these ancient trees. Mr. Zhang explained because you can count a tree's rings to identify its age, you can also observe historical cosmic events going back thousands of years. When radiation strikes the atmosphere, it produces radioactive carbon-14, which filters through the air, oceans, plants, and animals, and produces an annual record of radiation in the trees. We modeled the global carbon cycle to reconstruct the process over a 10,000-year period to gain insight into the scale and nature of the Miyake events. As Dr. Pope noted above, the predominant hypothesis had been that Miyake events were caused by giant solar flares. Solar flares are intense, localized eruptions of electromagnetic radiation from the sun's atmosphere that are thought to be caused by the crossing, tangling, or reorganization of magnetic field lines on the star surface. However, Mr. Zhang said, our results challenges. We've shown they're not correlated with sunspot activity, and some actually last one or two years. 
rather than a single instantaneous explosion or flare, what we may be looking at is a kind of astrophysical storm or an outburst. As Dr. Pope puts it, the fact that scientists do not know exactly what Miyake events are, nor how to predict their occurrence, is very disturbing. He said, based on available data, there's roughly a 1% chance of seeing another one within the next decade, but we don't know how to predict it or what harm it may cause. These odds are quite alarming and lay the foundation for further research. And the full findings of the study were published in the Journal Proceedings of the Royal Society of Astronomy. So this is something new, and they could come at any time, last as long as one or two years. This is by Ian Randall on Express UK. Please leave your comments. And thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.